which of the following cells is most likely affected in this patient? All right, let's see, a 50 year old man presents a four month history of fatigue, weakness, and pallor. He also complains about numbness and tingling in his hands and feet. Labs show macrocytic anemia, hypersegmented neutrophils, and peripheral blood smear, intrinsic factor, antibodies are detected. Uh, okay. What do they want to know? They want to know which of them is most likely effective. Well, if he has a macrocytic anemia, there's usually only two things. It's B9 or B12. Um, Hypersegmented neutrophils, intrinsic factor. I mean, they're all talking about really, um, I think red blood cell. I don't know. Unless they're talking, unless it could be something else. I mean. What's your diagnosis here? Uh, my diagnosis would be if he has the macrocytic anemia, hypersegmented neutrophils. Okay. It would be like infection. So I'm thinking, am I thinking like right shift, but then he also has intrinsic factor antibodies um, in the serum. I'm a little confused. There's like a few different things, like they're all isolated. So I have like the macrocytic anemia part, the hypersegmented neutrophil part, and then intrinsic factor antibodies. So I want you to put that in a diagnosis together if you can. What can cause all those things? The macrocytic anemia part's bothering me. That's the part where I can't, because I would go, okay, hypersegmented neutrophils. Um, I could go into like AML or CLL or something like that. Oh, he's, I get those confused a lot too. Um, intrinsic factor antibodies. Would that be like an anti, I don't know if it's anti, anti three. I don't know why I keep thinking that like an anti heparin, but that's not. What does intrinsic factor true. do? Um, I'm thinking of, I don't know if I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of like extrinsic, intrinsic factor. Is that for clotting pathway? Mm, no, not or am I easy. not thinking that? That's where what my is, head what is. What uh, What do you need to absorb B twelve? Oh, I think um, is that from the parietal cells in intrinsic factor? I like the the water. There is we that go. What, is that what you're talking? About? Okay. Like, yep. Yeah. Okay. So it's definitely okay. Then his parietal cells are affected for sure. Okay. Final um, answer. Yeah, I think so. I was thinking it's just the. Yeah. So, okay. so the, the correct terminology here, diagnosis wise, would be pernicious anemia. Okay. So um, okay. that is a B12 deficiency because you can't absorb it. And the reason why is you have antibodies against the parietal cells or, 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 and also the intrinsic factor. Remember, you need tr intrinsic factor to help you absorb B12, okay? Um, so when you have an autoimmune issue called pernicious anemia, you're killing either the intrinsic factor or the parietal cells or both, okay? okay. And if you do that, then you're gonna have a B12 deficiency. Even if you're taking enough B12, you're not able to absorb it. And that's gonna give you a macrocytic anemia, right? Meaning greater than a hundred, right? Volume, yes. right? And then hypersegmented neutrophils, meaning they have a lot of segments because that's what happens when you have deficient B12. Okay. Okay. So That's not from pain. infection. That's no. just from. Okay. And, and remember, take a look at this 50 year old male, four, four month history. So it's a chronic issue. And remember, if you have chronic low B12, you're going to have fatigue, weakness. And mm -hmm. Okay. And also, B12 will also give you um, uh, neuropathies too, deficiency in B12. Make sense? Yes, that makes more sense.